I'm Emily Nieber at the National Weather Service. This is Alaska Statewide Weather. Taking a look at today's map, we have several active features. We have high pressure ridge pushing into the Bristol area, bringing in dry conditions and some relief from a lot of the rain that they've been having lately. Uh, we have a low pressure system in the Gulf of Alaska with an associated front uh, that's really uh, falling apart right now, but still bringing showers uh, all the way from Ukiavik to the Gulf of Alaska. Finally, we have a trough uh, located in the Yukon that's stretching into eastern central Alaska, and that's starting to touch off a few showers and thunderstorms in the far eastern parts of Alaska. Finally, we have a low pressure system just on top of Shemya that's uh, with a weak frontal system that stretches all the way across the western bearing. This weak uh, low pressure system will drift slightly overnight um, just to the east with its front uh, draped across the central Aleutians and bringing some showers to that area. Meanwhile, that high pressure ridge continues to push inland across Bristol Bay, bringing dry weather uh, even into north central portions of the state. Meanwhile, that low pressure system near Kodiak Island continues to drift towards the east towards the Panhandle region and if, with a few lingering showers over the far eastern Brooks Range over the night hours. Sunday, that trough that stretches from the Yukon into eastern Alaska might touch a few thunderstorms in the afternoon hours across the Brooks Range. Meanwhile, high pressure continues to drift along the North Arctic coast at 1021 millibars, bringing uh, stratus to much of the region. The, gulf, the low in the Gulf of Alaska remains fairly stagnant at about 1016 millibars, uh, remaining mostly in the center and to the east of Kodiak Island. Finally, that uh, low pressure system in the western bearing continues to bring showers to the central Aleutian Islands. Another low pressure system quickly follows on its heels uh, as it moves towards Chamia at 999 millibars on Monday. Uh, meanwhile, that low in the Gulf of Alaska continues to drift around to the south portion of the Gulf. Uh, high pressure remains in place across much of western Alaska, with a trough stretching from the Yukon into eastern Alaska, causing widespread showers in the afternoon, perhaps, along the mountains. Meanwhile, high pressure remains in place along the Arctic coast at 1023 millibars. So uh, most of these patterns are going to be fairly stagnant. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm Emily Niebuhr.